That's some of the air coming back. See some of the air coming back through the returns. So on suction lines, what we like to do is actually suck the mic all the way through. This way we don't have to feed it in any other way. And that's what we're going to do the demonstration on, on the slide mic. So here, here's what we're going to do. We're going to watch how we actually just suck it down the line and let the, the line actually do the work. So the system is actually running and, and we're going to let it suck the pipe, the microphone all the way up. There it goes. There it goes. We're feeding. This is so far about 25 feet, about 40 feet, actually 30 feet. There we go. Okay, so now we're back to the pump. What we're going to do is take the pump basket off and hope that we have our wire stuffed in there. I'm going to take the cover off. And we got wire. Pick it up. There you go. Okay, so our wire is in there. What we're going to do is we're going to pull back on the wire because we're going to cut that pipe. And uh, we have a manifold, so we know that we don't, we're not leaking above the ground on that manifold. So we're going to pull the wire back. Actually, you could take leave the cover off. Yeah. We're going to pull the wire back and uh, so that we know that we don't cut the wire when we cut the manifold. And uh, then we'll start doing our slide mic test. Okay, so we pulled the wire back and we cut the pipe. And we install our injection rig. And we're going to, we have water hooked up to our injection rig. We have it under a slight pressure right now where William's running it right now. He's tweaking it so that he can get it at about six pounds, which is the ideal pressure for our slide mic to work at its optimum. So now that you saw that we had it under pressure, the slide mic is in with the converter. Um, William's going to pull back now and uh, until we get right over the sound. We're under six pounds, which gives us the, uh, the optimum sound of the leak what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull it back until we're exactly over it and uh, we're gonna introduce the sound fading towards it and then we're gonna introduce the sound after we pass it That's the distance of to where we pinpointed and heard exactly what we needed to hear. The, the direction of the equipment is back that way. Um, we know that we have a service loop under the skimmer, so we're going to put an X uh, right about right where the microphone head is right there. Um, and we know that we're probably within, I'd say, about a 6 to 8 inch radius of the actual leak. It's probably going to be on the loop up uh, here in California. They uh, do a pour. So hopefully we'll be on the outside of the pour. Might not have to replace the skimmer. 